Joining us now, Michael Cohen's personal attorney, former special White House counsel to President Bill Clinton, Lanny Davis. Lanny, uh, welcome back to Morning Joe. Uh, good, morning, good to Mika. have you on nice this morning. To be back. Thank you. So, what's he got? Uh, what's the uh, sort of the, what's the level of what Michael Cohen has that he could offer to Mueller investigators? Like, is it enough to change his fate, which looks a little bleak right now? Well, let's clear up uh, for some reason an ambiguity, the smoke that Rudy Giuliani and Trump and the people around him are blowing about what happened yesterday. Very clearly, there is no dispute that Donald Trump committed a crime. No dispute because his own lawyers said to the special counsel in a letter that he directed, that's the word they used, mm -hmm. Michael Cohen to do these payments. He didn't want to do them because he was covering up his involvement in the payoff and the hush money. But the issue isn't in dispute. I've been asked, well, how do we believe someone who's pled guilty to other crimes? My answer is you don't have to. His own lawyers are, including Rudy Giuliani, are the evidence, the witnesses against Trump. When he lied on Air Force One, Giuliani contradicted him and said, oh, no, he knew about it. And then his own lawyers wrote a letter to the special counsel and used the word directed. Now, that's as good a evidence as you can have when your own lawyers are testifying against you. So there's no ambiguity. Donald Trump violated criminal law. He may not be able to be indicted. That's an uh, unclear question. But there's no dispute here. He directed Michael Cohen to do something that was criminal. Michael did it and admitted to it. We haven't heard Donald Trump say, I directed him according to my lawyers who wrote the special counsel. So what does your client have? What evidence uh, beyond what we've already heard and seen, which, uh, by the way, includes an audio tape that involves a conversation about a payment to Stormy Daniel that the president is involved in. But uh, I want to know what else he has, what you might be able to offer to Mueller that compares or surpasses with what he's already said and admitted to that implicates the president. So that's the big question that I can't answer as an attorney who's consulted with my client under attorney-client privilege. I also wouldn't want to interfere in Mr. Mueller's um, investigative process by answering the question, but I have been willing to say that my observation is that Michael Cohen knows information that would be of interest to the special counsel, in my opinion, regarding both knowledge about a conspiracy to corrupt American democracy by the Russians and the failure to report that knowledge to the FBI. Emily Jane Fox, you know Michael Cohen uh, as well as anybody, probably more. Um, could he have tapes of Trump? What do you think Michael Cohen has the capability of doing to protect himself at this point? What could he provide um, from your knowledge of not just what he has, but his personality, his relationship with the president, and at this point, his anger level? Well, his anger level is sky high, and I think that we saw that yesterday in the courtroom when he electively chose to mention the president when he was going through the, the guilty counts yesterday. He didn't have to bring up the president. That was his own decision, and it was a very pointed decision at that. Look, Michael Cohen has worked side by side with the president, and it's important to note he's worked side by side with the president's children as well for the last decade. And so, what he knows about the president and his family, I, I can only begin to speculate. Lenny, I do have a, a question for you. Um, what you say is that he has a tremendous amount to potentially offer. Uh, Robert Mueller and the special counsel's team. Why make that statement publicly? Why not go directly to the special counsel? What, how does it serve Michael Cohen to be saying publicly, we have a lot of things to offer? Well, I haven't quantified it. I just certainly think your interpretation is a reasonable one. I've simply made my observation. We do not want to interfere in Mr. Mueller's investigation. I have said that Michael Cohen uh, is going to be telling the truth uh, to whoever asks him, and there are some issues that I think would be of interest. But I do want to go back to family. He and his family are suffering. 
He is asking for help. We've set up a website, michaelcohntruthfund.com, to help him tell the truth about Donald Trump. We need help. And Michael uh, is asking for anybody interested in helping him to go to this website that we've just set up, michaelcohntruthfund.com. And we do ask everybody who is interested in Michael being able to tell the truth to help him out. Did, uh, uh, just to answer Emily's question with a thought, uh, Lanny, and uh, I'll, I'll toss it to you, and then Joyce Vance can follow up with a question. But did he think Trump was going to help him out? Did he? Is he? Is he no. sort of stupefied at this? But no. No. So he does why did not it take him want so long to flip. It uh, was evolutionary. I, in talking to him again, have to be careful what I share as an attorney. But I can tell you that Helsinki. Uh, was a significant turning point as he worried about the future of our country with the President of the United States aligning with somebody who everybody in his intelligence community who he appointed, including Dan Coats, said that Putin interfered and tried to help Trump get elected, and Trump is the only one left denying that, and that shook up Mr. Cohen. But earlier events shook him up. When he first approached me, we talked about what caused him to change his mind, from taking a bullet for Donald Trump uh, in the statement that he made to seriously worrying about his unsuitability as president after he became president. So it was an evolutionary process, a painful process. When he and I talked, when I decided to help him, it was after several weeks of talking about the evolution that he's gone through. So, Joyce, hold on one second. I just want to uh, jump on that Helsinki comment, and, and that being a turning point for Michael Cohen. Um, I've always noticed that Donald Trump deflects, sometimes with foreign policy news of his own, just uh, to get the headlines to go in a different direction. Is Michael Cohen at this point worried that this president will do something unbelievably idiotic to deflect from these headlines? Are you asking me? Yeah. The answer is, of course, Everybody in America who isn't a hardcore, doesn't care whether he lies, doesn't care whether he aligns with Putin, doesn't care at all, and we're probably down to below 40 percent, uh, everybody else in America is worried about a president of the United States who acts recklessly, sometimes acts without the stability that you'd want a president to have mentally, and aligns himself with Putin and denies his own intelligence community's unanimous assessment, including Dan Coats and Mike Pompeo and everybody else, that Putin interfered to help him get elected. That is a simple fact, and it's very scary that we have a president of the United States aligning with Putin. And after Helsinki, I know that Michael was quite shook up, but he it happened before then. Remember, I talked to him before Helsinki by uh, over a month, and we spent a lot of time on the telephone talking about what changed his mind about Donald Trump, and it was the unsuitability factor as president yep. scaring a lot of people who like Trump that he is a scary person, sometimes acts mentally scary. He certainly doesn't care about the truth. He has Giuliani saying uh, truth is uh, not always truth. Uh, and Mr. Trump lies and doesn't care he lies, knows his supporters, some of them know that he's lying and they don't care and that's very very dangerous as michael cohen and many other people see and in order to get i have to plug it again in order to get michael to be able to help we need help on this fund michael cohen truth fund.com we ask everybody to help michael cohen tell the truth about donald trump all right, Lanny Davis, thank you very much. Please come back, keep us posted. Thank Joyce. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.